leading lady I wanna contract them, no maybe Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Brie Brie Nicole back with another upload. Today's video is going to be just a little bit different from like my lifestyle content that y'all normally see. So I am starting a sit down series pertaining to like self-improvement, self-help, basically just allowing yourself to become that girl, become the best, you know, version of yourself, which is what I'm trying to do in this current space of me. So I am going to be doing a get ready with me y'all if y'all don't know i'm obsessed with hello kitty and stitch uh so i found this bag at tj maxx when i went not too long ago and i was like I, got, I gotta have it i gotta have it there's no way that i could not have it so here we are as you can see my hair is straight i did take my hair out um it's sunday i took my hair out on wednesday i dyed it so we don't have any more blonde but you still my ends are still lighter than the rest of my hair but yeah i do have a few topics for me to go over over here to my left on my ipad so if i'm looking over here that is why but yeah so i'm going to just kind of jump straight in i am doing an everyday makeup look or like what i would typically do if i'm gonna do my makeup okay so yeah i'm kind of in a space of wanting to like rebrand my content and things like that like, so i am actually going to lay out all of my products here on my desk in front of me and then we are going to get into so we're gonna see how this goes because i think i'm gonna make this a series just because i like it and i like doing my makeup and i don't do my makeup often so we're gonna see but we're gonna see so hold on i'm gonna spread my makeup out so i can see exactly what i need what i don't need and I'll see y'all in just like literally three seconds. Okay y'all, so I have everything laid out. So if you see me looking down here, it's because I have my mirror here. I don't have like a big mirror for my, my content space. Space yet. So, I don't know why I'm so thirsty. We're gonna start off with priming. For priming, I use this e.l.f. primer. Like when I tell y'all my makeup looks are super duper simple unless like I do eyeshadow which I really don't do much. Ignore the clips, ignore the, the, the hair for now. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's prime. And I will say y'all I, ha I haven't been the one to do like a full face of makeup. I did wash my face this morning and stuff like that so but I've never been the one to really do a full face of makeup. Like, I've literally only ever done concealer. I don't know. Like, I really just got into doing makeup. And I want to get into more makeup looks because I do like how I feel. I just feel really, really put together when I have on a face. So, I used to only do concealer in my brows. But, like... I don't know I want to get into like full faces like natural full face like because a natural full face just eats like you can't you can't say that it doesn't anyways this is so off topic as to what I'm supposed to be filming for so my first topic is going to be making your daily routine work for you so y'all especially like if you're trying to do content creation and um working a nine to five like maximizing your your time is going to be your best friend like i can tell y'all now <laughs> i don't and that's why i struggle so much as far as posting my content balancing my nine to five balancing my relationships with friends family and it kind of it kind of pulls me back it pushes me back i guess you can say because i don't really i don't balance I don't balance my time the way I should and that I know I can. And that's my fault. That is something that I'm trying to work on in this season. Um, which is why I'm bringing it to y'all attention because I don't know if some of y'all are content creators too or just struggle balancing work and life. So my suggestion I definitely will have to say is start waking up earlier so you can kind of maximize your day. And that'll definitely help. Because I know back when I used to take my niece and my nephew to school, getting up early because I lived 20 minutes away from them. 
So I had to get up early to allow myself grace and enough time to do what I wanted to do or needed to do before I took them to school. Because after I took them to school, I had to head directly to work. Like just getting up, hopping up, and getting your day started is not that productive. It doesn't work for me. Let's just say that. If it works for you, beautiful, great, kudos to you. But for me, hopping up and getting my day started like immediately after like that just does not work for me and like it just doesn't work for me and I want to get to a place where I can wake up early because back then I also used to work out me a nice breakfast before I went to take them and make sure that they were up but get like now that I don't do that anymore I literally wake up an hour before I have to be to work and yeah no that doesn't that doesn't work that doesn't work at all so i would definitely say make your routine work for you and your needs because that's where i'm at with it because waking up the way that i do getting ready like i don't have a I like having slow mornings. I haven't been able to have slow mornings due to the fact I wake up 30 minutes before I go to be to work. Like, how? How would that work? But yes, because if you wake up earlier, you're able to do more. So just mind you, I work a literal 9 to 5 and then by the time I get home, I'm dead to the world. So another thing I will say is like creating a routine. So like say you on Mondays. Mondays are your content planning days. Tuesday. Okay, I know I need to film X, Y, and Z. So gathering the knowledge, gathering the materials that you need to film on Saturday. And then on Wednesday, you're doing your research for your thumbnail. You're doing the research for your um, descriptions. You're doing your research for keywords. Like the whole nine. Then Wednesday, now you know you have your video all mapped out. Like... I mapped out like the best way to do that is having a content planner like I use notion so just formulating a plan that works for you like that's first things first I know it can be kind of hard especially like if everything is being done by yourself but that just goes hand in hand with rebranding and kind of reinventing yourself like you know you no longer want to be in this space so don't continue to allow yourself to be in this space you know like that's just being proactive to become the literal best version of yourself and you can't do that without actively trying like there's it's, it's not gonna happen the best thing that i can say is you having a literal nine to five you show up for that nine to five do what they ask you to do do what they need you to do but you can't show up and do what it is that you want to for yourself yeah we're not gonna do that we're not gonna do that you gotta show up for you we gotta show up for you so the next topic that i have for today is learning to say no and setting boundaries that is something that i struggle with so bad and uh, so i have a really bad habit of saying yes to people because i don't want them to be mad at me i don't want them to feel any type of way or feel neglected by me because i'm saying no but y'all if you don't want to do it don't do it and like i'm really really learning this and i'm really really learning this so if somebody can't respect your boundaries and respect that you don't feel like doing whatever it is that they want you to do it is what it is, but nine times out of ten, if they're upset with you because you said no, they don't really need to be around you. Because if I don't feel like it, I don't feel like it's simple. Like, it shouldn't be a argument or a battle or anything like that because I don't want to do it. I kind of refuse. So, I kind of just let that be that, but it's just holding yourself accountable to hold other people accountable for your boundaries and what you feel. So that leads into my next and final topic, I guess. Self-care. And that goes into prioritizing yourself and making sure things work for you and the convenience of you. Because if they don't, you're doing yourself a disservice. I'm saying that like if you love getting your nails done, get your nails done, get your lashes done, like keep your hair done, whatever the case may be for you. Like always make sure you are practicing self-care and doing what makes you feel good. Do what makes you happy, girl. You gotta make the best of it. And I'm trying to work on making the best of my situations and the surroundings that I'm in or just the spaces that I'm in I guess you could say because I don't and I want to start maximizing you know my own self-care and making myself feel good so like that's me getting into more makeup looks like more 
whatever the case may be like i just started getting my lashes done again and y'all like me having my lashes done is like i don't know like i feel like it's kind of a non-negotiable for me because i just i love the way i feel with lashes okay so i don't know like that's just pri that's a sense of prioritizing yourself like you know lashes feel good so you designate time out of your week out of your day whatever the case may be to go get your lashes done like it just do it just do it it ain't hurt nobody it's making you feel good and it ain't hurt nobody oh child because i will say like i be taking self-care for granted and like i be allowing myself to sit and be lazy and just not be my best self and i'm tired of that y'all so i just got into lippies and i found this at cvs so mind you all the girlies we all know butter gloss has been around for however long I recently just got into makeup so of course I'm not gonna know that well not even that I'm not gonna know that but I wasn't into makeup for me to be aware of the 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 the, the products that the girlies was using so but I just found out about better gloss and y'all when I tell y'all I'm obsessed I'm obsessed I just want to create this series to kind of allow y'all to watch me grow as well as me helping y'all grow because we love a good self-improvement we love helping the girlies or at least i do i guess you should never want to be complacent you should never want to be stuck in the same place that you were last week last year last day yesterday like sorry y'all i definitely couldn't line my lip and talk so i'm 25 i'll be 26 in july and i am in a space where I just want to be better than I was yesterday. I just want to work towards the goals that I have set in place for me and actually doing what I said I wanted to do. Whether that be for my content, whether that be just for myself or whatever. Y'all, like y'all can't tell me that this lip does not eat. Yeah, I just want to be the best version of me that I can be and I've just actively been trying to work on that. But I will say I need to be a little bit more selfish. I'm very, very hard on myself when it comes to certain things. And I just be mad at myself when I don't complete what it is that I said I wanted to do. Y'all, this lip is just so freaking cute to me. I wish I had somewhere to go. <laughs> I wish my girlfriend was here so we go on a little, so we go on a little, little, little daylight, little something, nothing too crazy. But yeah, I just know that it's time for me to get more serious pertaining to my goals and, it, and the things that I want in life because I'm not I haven't been holding myself accountable but I'm about to start and I want y'all to do the same but yes so that is all I do for my makeup like literally she's so simple so I will say just this week this upcoming week I want you to be proactive in planning i want you to be proactive in goal setting and making sure that the goals and your plans are realistic and obtainable for you if you know you work 40 hours a week don't set you to have i mean and even though it may be obtainable just make it realistic like i don't even know where i'm going with that but like make your goals realistic and obtainable to you so you don't beat yourself up like tremendously if things don't happen like you can't tell yourself oh yeah i'm gonna drop three youtube videos this week or whatever knowing that you work 40 to 50 hours a week with a full-time job you got a kid and all of that good stuff like it's probably attainable but is it realistic so with that being said like you could post more so like okay i know i'll be able to post once or twice on tiktok and for sure one good video on youtube you know so it just all makes sense you know so it just all makes sense but yes this is the final look let me know if y'all like this this little series this little setup or whatever because i don't know i think i'm kind of feeling it like i think i'm kind of feeling it i do like the look that we did today i hope y'all like this little series so each i don't know i think maybe we'll do these maybe once a month i don't know comment down below let me know how y'all feel about it but i will say um if y'all want me to talk about anything specifically you know i'll probably start making posts on instagram and stuff like that for things that y'all want me to talk about and i know i probably didn't go in depth because i was kind of hyper focused in some states doing my makeup but we, we gonna get there 
because I can't multitask as far as doing my makeup and filming like I we haven't fully got there yet but we working on it but yes make sure you comment down below any video ideas or um comment down below any um any topics that you want me to cover in our next chit chat get ready with me series I gotta figure out a name on what I want to call it. but my next video is gonna be a self-care video like basically you know the external stuff and I appreciate y'all so so much so I hope this week is amazing for you I hope you knock out all of the goals that you plan for yourself this week because I plan on making myself a couple but like I said make them attainable okay okay so I'm holding you accountable hold myself accountable we're gonna do this Ooh, I would love to have an accountability group chat I like that idea so yes I'm hopping off of here now so make sure you like comment subscribe turn on the bell so you don't miss when I post and I will see you in my next upload thank you for watching